What would you say to some of my small town newspaper colleagues who are concerned that um, perhaps your administration about picking and choosing journalists like myself who you'll talk with and others who you won't, that we're setting a bad precedent for small communities and really kind of making an attack, I've heard the word used attack, yeah. on small town newspapers and small town journalists. Yeah, I, I would defy you or anyone to find any small town newspaper or journalist that I don't sit down and talk to. This is a perfect example. I do this all day long. I will probably do six or eight different interviews today, uh, and this is just one day of the week. I do interviews all day long, every day of the week, with rare exception, with people by phone, people face-to-face, -face, some in written format, some in video content, some over the radio. Uh, so this is something we do. The people that you hear that from are a handful of individuals who are not really journalists. They're opinion people who are angry that they don't get to dictate what everybody else listens to. They truly don't appreciate that I sit down and talk to you directly. They don't appreciate that I use social media or that I will talk to people and take questions from citizens over the phone on a radio program. I did that this morning where I'll take calls from anybody who wants to call in and talk about anything. In the very same publications that complain the loudest, have had the most access to my administration. They really have. I've answered more questions for some of those journalists and for their papers. It's usually the papers that whine the loudest. Uh, it really is, and it's interesting that they do. I don't know why. If the Courier Journal is a sad excuse for a paper relative to what it once was. And publications like yours, organizations like yours, do a much truer job, and I mean this sincerely, of actually expressing the news, covering the news, and trusting your people to make informed decisions. You don't tell them what to believe. You just report the news. You interview me. Some will like what they hear from me. Some won't like it. But you don't try to tell them what to believe. The Courier Journal happens to be an example of a paper that does try to tell people what to believe. And it's unfortunate because it's an embarrassment that that's the largest newspaper in our state. I look forward to the day when you are. <laughs> well, we appreciate that.